Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Anwarin. Today, I will be talking about what I have learned in a sharing session about building a good networking. The speaker is Mr. Sofwan, who was the general manager of Digital Media Prima. And now, he is working at Awesome TV. So I can gladly say he has more than enough credential on how to build a good networking. Without further ado, let us begin. One of the ways I learned to build a good networking is to put myself out. One method in achieving this is to use social media. There are really social media out there such as Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and... Oh my! Don't let your kids watch it! Well, except for the last one, there are various social media out there. Whew. Then, all you need to do is create an account and with a few clicks, you are all ready to begin your networking journey. Not only it is easier for us to reach a wider audience and subsequently increasing the amount of networking you can build, we can also find like-minded people, people with the same goal as this, and people who have the resources we need to achieve our goal. Then, hopefully, we can build a good long-lasting relationship with trust and respect from both parties. But, and a very big but, it is of utmost importance to ensure that we communicate effectively and exercise our soft skills when networking. The last thing you want to do is to act in a way that deter people from connecting with you. So, this webinar taught me to brush up on my communication skills by reading lots of communication books and then doing my homework before engaging with a person and to understand the situation first so I can respond accordingly. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. When I reflect upon this sharing session, I realize that most of the time in my conversation, I did not actually communicate in an effective way most of the time. I usually fail to understand the situation and therefore giving responses that can be viewed negatively by other parties. Something along this line. This is detrimental to my networking as people might paint a negative image of me based on my responses. Furthermore, when I realize that one people might know five people and those five people might know even more people, oof, the losses that I could have inflicted upon myself is quite exponential. But I can always learn from my mistake to be more aware of my surrounding. Then I can also learn to not judge people based on their first impression because after all, it is nothing but impression and people are so much more than their initial impression may suggest. An open-minded and accepting individual is surely one of the people I would like to associate with, so I would like to be one myself. In conclusion, networking is an essential skill to have and should be developed by all people. One way to start networking is to use social media, but remember to communicate effectively and exercise your soft skill during the networking. I have learned a lot from the sharing session and I also hope that you learned something as well. That is all for me. I hope you have a nice day and take care.